should be excluded After at this part five you have part nine yes come to page 15 356 is excluded yes, so the is... entire constitution was made applicable by the 1954 order except said... to the extent of exclusion Malaj, it's part five is state 11 straight away there's no question of the entire constitution being included just one minute mr the, the, the Sibyl, my Lenin brother maybe if with respect right I'll tell you another, another reason. I'll give you another, uh, just apropos what fell from uh, Brother Sanjeev Khanna. Just see now part three. First, we'll just see one small provision, a clause two, clause two of the order of 1954. Correct. Correct. Yes. It says the provisions of the constitution, which yes. in addition to article one and article 370 shall apply in relation to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, and the exceptions and modifications shall be as follows. Now, one thing is very interesting. The word only which we found in the 1950 order has been deleted in the 1954 right. order. Right. So only goes. Yes. Now, let's take go to part three for a moment. And yes. just to test the hypothesis. Right. In just good yes. Now, just see clause C in yes. part clause, three. Clause. Yes, right? I got it, Mother. It says in clause three of article 16, the reference to the state shall be construed as not including a reference to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Correct. Now, if you see Article 16.3 of the Constitution, yes. it says nothing in this article shall prevent Parliament from making any law prescribing in regard to a class or class of employment or appointment to an office under the government or any local authority within a state or any requirement as to residence within that state or union territory prior to such employment or appointment. Right. Now, if the entirety of clause 16 were not to apply to Jammu and Kashmir. Yes. What was the reason for saying that only clause 16 3 will apply subject to these modifications? For the simple reason that Miller's other clauses in respect of clause 3 of the constitution came into the JNK constitution later. Okay. And I'll show that to your logic. But is it your contention, therefore, that entirety 16, of 16 applies? 16, 16 1 didn't apply to the Jammu and Kashmir. It did apply, it, it applied. The part which is mentioned. But how did it apply then? No, no, part three applies in full. When it says part, your logic may see they have a serial number and then they have A, B, C below each of these parts. So when they mention the part, the part applies in full. Now in that part, A, B, C will tell you the exception or modification That's of part. the provisions of the constitution in that part. So when the part is indicated, the part applies in full. In the 1950 order, it was column one. So in the second That's what I was saying. See, in the earlier the manner of printing of the two notifications yes, like yes, that's different. all that's, that's all. very good. the first one has been the the yes. it is an article yes then what is the exception sort of correct, correct. and the modification mm -hmm. now it's modification exception yes. carved out so now it's this uh, the way it is printed as i see it yes when they say part three it means part three applies but but yes. these but exceptions and modifications or modifications which yes. are there yes are specified underneath it that's, that's, that's exactly, that's, that's what that's what exactly. exactly. Nothing, no difference yes. other than what has been exclusively ex excluded yes the rest of the part three applies that's correct that's all that there is that's it's all. a simple uh, like 16, I think, uh, one and two apply yes. this is simple just cut to page number uh internal page number the first page page 10 of the notification page 10, okay the provisions of the constitution yes this means the entire provisions of the constitution page 10 your lordship's pdf page 10 yes yes uh, that's a notification 14th may 1954 2 clause 2 the provision page 13, not 10, 13, or 13. Or pay, pay, page 13 yes yes, 13. yes page yes. 13 you're right the provisions of the constitution yes yes which in addition to article 1 and 317 article 370 yes. because that's covered by three. yes yes now the provisions of the constitution refers to the entire provisions of the constitution correct correct yes shall apply in relation to the state of jammu and kashmir full stop yes which second the word second has left the word out which the yes i'm aware of that the second part says the exceptions and modifications subject to which they shall also apply shall be as follows. Correct, correct. So thereafter, the exceptions are carved out yes. with regard to each part of the correct. provision of the constitution, correct. which are either not to be applicable or applicable with modification. Correct, correct. And if you go down, it specifically says 356 is excluded yes. in case this was specific inclusion they need not have specified 356 is excluded 
because by implication 356 if not mentioned in the schedule would have been excluded uh, with the greatest respect when you say kindly read it just see this kindly see part 18 the very fact that some sec articles have been but excluded page 18 kindly see page 18 P pdf page 18 yes but which is this C part, C part 18. 352, the following new clause shall be added. Above that. Correct, correct. Part correct. 818. Correct. And therefore, there are exceptions. You're, you're not, you're, we are then at item. So part, but, part, the part applies, but there are exceptions and modifications. So that like part 18 applies. See, for example, it's part 18 no applies. Word. Yes. The modification is specified below that. Yeah. yeah. Then small clause B, third, 13, part 3, small clause. Right. Therefore, there is no dispute on the entire procedure. See if you can see. See if you can see. So these three articles of part. And also it says the provisions which shall apply shall be as follows. Which shall apply? They are enumerating the provisions. Then, That's all, Mother. The next after that is what are the modifications? Yes. Or what is omitted? So That's right. mostly the modification, but some are omissions. Yeah. For example, in part 19, if you see, yes, I have it. 362 and 365 are omitted. Omitted. Yes. 366 clause 21 will be omitted. Omitted. Correct. Otherwise, the whole of part will apply. Other than this will apply. That's right. The approach is instead of going provision by provision and enumerating 395, they went part by part. And they said this whole part applies subject well, to but the ultimate. But what about those parts which are not specified as parts? They don't apply. They don't apply. No, 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 that is the problem. Which is, I'm not sure you're right on that. You may not be right on that. We have, in fact, in volume one, we have the Constitution of India as applicable to Jammu and Kashmir, which shows that this is how it goes. Part four won't apply. No, not at this stage. Not at this stage. Part three did not apply till 1954. Preamble did not apply till 1954. That's exactly the way they proceeded. Well, that's the, the, the only... and, and this is significant. I think 15. PDF 15. The part your lordships are referring to is? If everything applies. Yes. Why would they specifically... Yes. So part 4, part 4A is omitted at that stage. 4A came later anyway, but part 4. The one way to look at it is part 4 will absolutely apply, of course, but they, without any modification. But with respect, where there is modification, the then that's not the understanding of the government of India then. That's the under, not the understanding of the state of Jammu and Kashmir then. That's not the understanding Malad, of any authority then. Malad, now, now we are saying, no, 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 that was all wrong. Actually, everything We're applies. We're not saying, we just and discussing. And you don't need consent. Mr. Sibal, as I see it, as I said, yes. yes. every every order yes. extended different parts of the constitution. That's right. To, to Jammu and Kashmir. Now, if a particular provision is in modification, it says so. Now, it may be by provision-wise, yes. or it may be part-wise. Yes. It may be by any method, yeah, right. but it keeps on extending by yes, the orders yes. which are passed. Yes. So first one was provision-wise in a sense. This one is part-wise because practically the whole part was to apply yes. with certain modifications. That's correct. To the extent that it doesn't, is not to be applied, it is excluded. That's, That's right. right. That's the only submission. That's the only. And in any case, one and one and three are uh, one and the three seventy are excluded. That that is from because of the first uh, notification separate That's clause. C was made. That's correct. Clause C was made for yeah. Article 1. No, Manas, this argument then doesn't take us anywhere because we are dealing with 370. We are not dealing with any other part of the Constitution. So we can, Manas, interpret the orders any way you any which way you want, but it cannot touch one and 370. The, the, the two major points to my mind are this. One is your submission that Article 370 has acquired a permanent feature of the Constitution. Yeah. That's the debatable issue. Yes. That's it. Both sides will debate. Next is uh, the suppose it is not permanent. Then what is the manner of uh, abrogating articles? That's right. Is that procedure followed or not? That's yes. correct. The That's only correct. two issues as I correct, correct, the correct. whole. whole I hope and try and convince you that it is permanent. 
I will try and convince you. Thank I know, Malaj, the, your Lordship says it's debatable and it is debatable. There's no doubt about it. So both things are debatable means both sides will argue this yes. out. It's really it's debatable. Fine. But I tell your Lordship, mothers, why it is permanent. Mothers, now, for the moment, mothers, because I've only, we have only dealt with the Constitution of India. The debate will also be on the second point. I look at a debate whether the procedure has been followed or not followed. Not. They will say we followed Absolutely. the manner of abrogation. Absolutely. Yeah. You will say not. Now, mothers, so far, I've only referred to provisions of this Constitution. But, mothers, your Lordship will have to look at the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir. Because that constitution, Mullahs, was framed and cleared in 1957. So, Mullahs, on the and so, Mullahs, parliament could only exercise, if it takes over under 356, uh, declares an emergency, it can only exercise the powers of the legislature. That's what Bomai has said, and I take your logic, you can't do anything more than that. Right? Now, let's look at the provisions of the JNK constitution. Which will give you an idea as to why it's permanent. Yeah, Mother, I'm uh, I'm sorry, I, my learned friend is right. Before we go to that, Mother, kindly see the volume one, PDF thirty one thirty two. You're wanting us to go to PDF one now. PDF is the difference. Volume one page, Mr. Siddhar. Well, volume one page, 131. 132 minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, let's kindly see. This is the cons this is the Constitution of India as applicable to Jammu and Kashmir just before abrogation of 370. And you'll see. Sorry, Mr. Which page? Page 130, PDF 132. In the same volume. Yes, volume one. Volume one, but it's not three. Second one, second. Second. Um. Now, as your lordships will see, see the table of contents at page 43 first. Which page? You said 132, 43, which one? It's 43, 43, 43 first. Well, the so table of contents are set out. It will take a little longer to get to it. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry about that. It's our fault, We are from Page 46 or? 43, 40. Well, the contents volume one. Yeah. Look somewhat like this. There's one the little improvement that we have India? to make in our uh, written submissions format. In fact, I'm just in the process of issuing a standard operating procedure for filing written submissions on all matters before CBS, which is that the index should be hyperlinked. So they'll be much easier for all yes. the lawyers and for us also. We go to the index and just uh, click on the hyperlink there. Please, what you're saying? Yes, yeah. index. <laughs> 46 is the index. Yes. Now, kindly see, Mother. Index just, actually just starts uh, earlier. Index starts from page 43. Yes, 43, 43. 43. No, 43. Your Lordship has that? Part 4 doesn't figure in it at all. Yes. And there's no order omitting it. This is which year? This is just before 370 was abrogated. It's taken from a book of 2016, but it's as it stood then. Now you see here, Mother, after part 6, you have part 11. Part 6, what page is that? Mr. Well, part 6 is at page PD48, PDF48. And the next is in. Yes, yes. Part 11 is page 49. So nothing is excluded. There's no specific provision.
Therefore, the order says provisions which shall apply shall be as follows. That's why Mother, the 54 order says what it says. Provisions of the constitution which shall apply. So notwithstanding the deletion of the word only, yeah. the word which seems to indicate that these are the parts, really, provisions which will apply. That's, that's right. So that's Mullahs really. Uh, now Mullahs in the, this context kindly look at the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir as it was cleared in 1957, passed in 1957. Now remember Mullahs, 